So there's a lot going on in this one and the inputs and the sensory stimulation are all quite calming but it keeps the mind quite engaged such that there's relatively little uh, room left for worry and any other unnecessary or unwanted thought that a guest might be thinking about. So for this one, they breathe out as the seeds flow down and breathe in as they go up. The goal is to have the horn blow seven times. The horn blows when your breath is right in line with the seeds. And each time it blows, there is a petal that grows on the flower. There needs to be seven petals that grow in order to complete this task. It's a great one for people who tend to overthink or get their mind too busy. It's a great one to reconnect with what's important and gain control when thinking isn't bringing you towards the goals of your day. So this is a task where the calmer you are and the more relaxed you are, the swallows that are flying overhead will begin to drop lotus blossoms into the pool of water. The idea is for guests to follow again the butterfly breathing and once they've accumulated as many blossoms as they feel like accumulating and when they're feeling as calm and relaxed as they like to be for this particular session they can click over here where it says I'm finished here. As you can see, there's a few blossoms accumulating. I'll stop talking for a moment and accumulate a few more. The lotus flowers just keep coming closer and closer and then the water feature is cleared of them. Um, this is one of those tasks where there's not a clear delineation when the task is over or the goal as it were was met. It's really more when the guest has felt like they've finished this part of the journey and then they can go ahead and decide when they're done and they can press the yeah, unfinished here. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, second last level, commit to a personal practice number 14. This is a more of an advanced to begin building your own practice. Whether challenge. you use brain Okay, so for this one, again the butterfly is use to pace the breath. To start the challenge, you have the guest press down on the mouse and to line up with the target energy goes up in terms of getting the heart rate up, thinking about exciting thoughts to get the arrow pointing upwards to, and to relax to get it pointing downwards. Clicking on the arrow itself pulls it back. Keeping it clicked keeps the arrow pulled back. 
and when you let the mouse go, the arrow shoots, and in that case, hits the target. You can encourage guests to experiment with this to hit the low target, the high target, and when they're done, they can click finished. Anytime they're at this screen, if they haven't done all of the sections, oh here I'm going to punch finished, but would like to move on to another level or repeat a level that they've just done, they can click on the woman in lotus position over in the lower right corner and that will always lead back to the menu. In this case, I'm going to go to guided training because I'm going to go to the 15th step. Okay, this is a beautiful graphic where many of the skills learned are put into one challenge. Again, the meter here demonstrates if your energy is heading upwards or calming. The calmer you are, the more that it rains the goal of this particular event is to have it rain very, very hard such that the golden bowl fills with water. It requires many bits learned from the previous challenges in terms of self-awareness, ability to focus mind and body, and it requires a fair bit of skill in meditation. Folks may take several times to be able to complete this task. Any of these tasks need to be looked at as journeys and steps along the journey as opposed to things that people win or lose. Every time a task is attempted, there's something to learn from it. So encouraging people to reflect on the new knowledge they have about themselves is useful and how they want to approach the task next time and how their earlier day before they began the biofeedback session affected uh, the outcome of that particular session. Magnificent. You've just completed your training program and now you're ready to begin creating your own personal practice 